So for this video, I will discuss uh, Wilcoxon rank sum test. Okay, so ano bang pinagkaiba niya sa sign test? So sa Wilcoxon test, it consider differences in magnitudes by using ranks. So kung sa sign test, minamark lang natin as positive or negative yung data kung it is above the mean or below ah above the median or below the median. Dito sa Wilcoxon, we will rank. Okay, so di ba kasi sa sign test, kung below the median sila, negative lang sila lahat. Wala silang pagkakaiba-iba. Okay, pero dito, consider natin yung differences in magnitudes kasi nirarank na natin yung data. Okay, so it is used for independent sample. So katumbas nito yung Z-test and T-test for independent samples. Ang pinagkaiba lang, we will use the Wilcoxon rank sum test, of course, when the distribution is not normally distributed. Okay. So, in Wilcoxon rank sum test, we will accept the null hypothesis or if the null hypothesis is true, when there is no difference between the rankings of the population and the sample that you get from that population. So, parang ang logic is, kung paano nirank yung population at kumuha ka ng sample doon, kung wala silang pagkakaiba, dapat same sila ng pagkakarank. Okay, so, yun siya. And then, both sample sizes must be greater than or equal to 10. So, para magamit mo yung Wilcoxon rank sum test, dapat greater than or equal to 10. Yan. So, yan yung formula. So, kung makikita nyo, ito, same lang siya halos sa Z-test. So, X minus mean over standard deviation doon. So, pinagkaiba lang, R na yung gamit since ranking yung ginagamit natin dito. Okay? So, pero same pa rin siya ng sense na you have the rank here, dito sa Z-test dati, X or yung mismong data, Minus the mean, so minus the mean din siya, over the standard deviation. So, yan yung pagkuha ng mean and standard deviation nung uh, ranking. And then, ninanote lang dito na dapat greater than 10 yung dalawa mong samples. And if the number of samples are the same, oh, either, either will be used as n sub 1. So, kung parehas naman sila, alam mo, parehas silang 11, edi 11 na yung n sub 1 mo. Okay? Pero, kung hindi sila magkaparehas, kung ano yung mababa, yun lagi yung gagamitin na n sub 1. Okay? So, for example, two independent samples of army and marine recruits are selected. And the time in minutes it takes each recruit to complete an obstacle course is recorded. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang groups na independent, army and marine. Tapos yan yung mga minutes para makompleto nila yung isang obstacle course. So, ang tinatest natin, is there a difference between the time na matapos nung certain group yung obstacle course o wala? May difference ba between Army and Marine or wala? When it comes to completing an obstacle course. Okay, so for the solution, so state the hypothesis or the null and alternative hypothesis. So, for null, of course, there is no difference. So, di ba, yun naman lagi ang claim natin sa null. Walang pinagkaiba yung dalawang groups. O, so, sa alternative, meron. Okay? And then next, find the critical value. So, to find the critical value, meron ako ditong uh, Z table. So, yun yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung critical value. Same lang din kung paano natin kinukuha yung critical value sa Z-test noon. So, di ba? You have alpha equals 0 0.05. So, two-tailed test yan. Bakit? Kasi ang claim lang is there is a difference or there is no difference. So, wala kang nakitang directional. Walang greater than or less than. Kaya two-tailed. So, dahil two-tailed, Mahati itong 0.05 sa dalawa. So, meron tayong tag 0.025. So, yun ang hahanapin nyo dito. So, 0.025 dito sa gitna. So, which is here. 
Ayan, so 0.025. Na corresponding to negative 1.9, tsaka 0.06. So therefore, the critical value is 1 to dapat. Okay, so you have 1, negative 1.9, eh, tsaka 0.06. So negative 1.96. So since two-tailed siya, dalawa. Merong positive, merong negative. Okay, so parang ang decision niyan, ito yung negative 1.96, ito yung positive 1.96. Kapag less than sa negative 1.96 or greater than sa 1.96, reject the null. Otherwise, accept the null. So to compute, first is to rank the data. So pag aluhaluin na lahat, yung data na galing sa Marine tsaka sa Army, pag aluhaluin nyo yung lahat, and then you rank. Okay, so yan na yung ranking niya. So kung may kita nyo, in-indicate ko yung group kada rank. So kung ano siya, like for example, yung rank 1 natin is Marine, ang time niya is 8 minutes. So nagmamatter kasi yung group na kinabibilangan niya mamaya. Okay, so yun yung ranking niya. So rank 1 Marine hanggang uh, rank 5 tas Army Marine so forth and so on. Dito bakit 8.5 yung rank niya? Kung irerecall nyo, ito ay pang 8, ito ay pang 9 talaga. Pero dahil pare silang 15, hindi naman pwedeng pang 8 yung isa, pang 9 yung isa. So dapat kung saan sila magtatagpo. So, 8 plus 9 divided by 2, you get 8.5. So, yun na yung rank nila parehas. Para pareha sila ng rank. And then next, ito din, pang 10 tsaka pang 11 na dapat yan. Pero dahil pareha sila, i-add mo na naman. You will get 10.5. So, ganun din sa mga ibang examples. And then next, so you sum the ranks of the group with the smaller size. Okay, so, kung magkapareha sila ng size, either na doon. Pero, since magkaiba sila ng size, kunin mo yung smaller. So, kung balikan natin yung table, oh, mas konti yung marine. So, ilan yung marine? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 na marine, 12 na army. So, kaya ang gagamitin natin yung rank sa marine. Okay? Ayan. So, you, you will add up the ranks dun sa marine. So, kung 11 yun, balikan ko yung given. Ang i-add natin, itong mga marine. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yung mga rank, i-add nyo yan lahat. Yan yung mga rank nila. Diba? So, yun yung mga i-add nyo. So, kung papakita ko dito, we have R equals, so, balikan nyo na lang yung table doon, pero ito yung mga rank noon. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8.5 plus 10.5 plus 14.5 plus 16.5 plus 21. So, you will get 93. So, that will be the value of R nung rank. So, dahil meron ka ng R, the next step is to compute for the mean rank. So, yung formula doon is N sub 1, then N sub 1 plus N sub 2 plus 1 all over 2. So, if we use the number, N sub 1 yung bilang yon. So, diba 11 yung marine, 12 yung army. So, you have 11 what is 11 plus 12 plus 1 divided by 2. So, you will get um, 132. So, yan yung mean rank. And then, yung standard deviation na rank. So, you have the square root of n sub 1, n sub 2, n sub 1 plus n sub 2 plus 1 all over 12. So, gamit yung formula, you have n sub 1 is 11, n sub 2 is 12, then 11 plus 12 plus 1, all over 12. So, the answer will be 16.2. Then, after that, makukuha nyo na yung z. 
So, di ba? R minus min yun eh. Over standard deviation. Ayan. So, you have 93 minus 132 all over 16.2. So, you will get negative 2.41. So, yan na yung basis for rejecting or accepting the null hypothesis. Okay, so, anong maiging decision? So, reject the null. So, bakit reject? Less than 2 eh. So, diba, nung nabanggit ko kanina, ito yung negative 1.96 positive 1.96. So, pag less than, reject yun. Pag greater than dito, sa 1.96, reject din yun. So, since less than, okay, so the decision is to reject. So, anong conclusion? There is enough evidence to support the claim that there is a difference. Okay, so, merong pagkakaiba kasi we reject the null hypothesis and we accept the Alternative hypothesis. Okay, so paano naman ginagawa yung Wilcoxon rank sum test um, using SPSS? Okay, so yung example kanina, which is yung merong army tsaka yung marine, so we can first uh, encode it in our SPSS. So here we have recruits. So, yung 1, we have the army, tapos yung lahat ng 2 sa recruits, yun yung marine. And then, I input the time. So, yan yung mga time nung sa army, ito naman yung time dun sa marine. Kaya kung titignan nyo dito sa variable view, meron akong value dyan. Yung 1, yun yung army, then 2, yun yung marine. Okay? So, lahat to army yung 1, lahat nung 2, marine. And then, you just click analyze, non-parametric statistics. And then, you have the legacy dialogues. And then, doon sa legacy dialogues, tingnan nyo lang yung 2 independent samples. Okay? So, may lalabas dyan na test variable list tsaka grouping variable. So, sa test variable list, kung ano yung tinetest nyo. So, di ba time? Tinitingnan natin kung may difference ba sa time or wala. So, kaya yun yung test variable list. And then, yung grouping variable natin, di ba nahahatis sa dalawang grupo, yung army tsaka yung marine. So, ito yun, yung recruits. And then, you just define the groups. So, group 1 will be 1, yun yung marine. Group 2 will be 2, which is yung mga a marine. Yung group 1 pala yung army, group 2 marine. Okay. And then, test type man with ni you test. Okay, so, nandun na yung uh, Wilcoxon rank sum test. So, you just click OK. Yan. So, kung may kita nyo kanina, kung maalala nyo yung sum, mabalikan nyo yung video, uh, yung sum of ranks natin is 93. So, ito siya. Yung sum of, sum of ranks naman sa army, 183. Pero diba, ginagamit natin yung smaller na sum. So, kaya itong 93 yung ginamit. And then, you have the statistics. So, you just look at the Z. So, negative 2.4. So, yun yung nakumpit natin kanina. Okay? Actually, 2 point, negative 2.41 yun. Pero kasi na-round off na yun. Yung mga given dun. Ito kasi purely na hindi. So, negative 2.4 siya. Ayan. So, you have negative 2.4. Pero, ang titignan nyo dito is yung significance. Okay? So, since p-value approach yung ginagamit dito. So, kapag ka less than 0 0.05, you reject the null. So, kung titignan natin, uh, we have negative 0... Ah, meron tayong 0.16... So, less than sa 0 0.05 yan. ba? So, kaya we reject the null hypothesis. Katulad din doon sa kaninang example.